Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on Laplace transform. In the last video, we heard the historical importance of Laplace transform and what is Laplace transform and we even saw one derivation that is the Laplace transform of e to the power 80 and we concluded the last video with the Laplace of e to the power 80 being 1 by s minus a. So immediately we get another result that is Laplace transform of e to the power minus 80 and that will be 1 by s plus a and another one Laplace of 1. 1 is actually e to the power 0. So that will be equal to e to the power 0 into t and that gives me the result Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s. Okay, so let's go for the next derivation that is Laplace transform of sin 80. I hope you remember the definition of Laplace transform. It is nothing but integral 0 to infinity and the given function multiplied by e to the power minus st and of course integration with respect to t. To evaluate this integral we need a result that is integral e to the power ax into sin bx dx and that is equal to e to the power ax the whole divided by a square plus b square and in bracket it's kind of like a and sin so a sin bx minus b cos bx plus c okay so let's start now look at this laplace transform is basically an improper integral and it's of type 1 improper integral which you might have studied in the first semester and to deal with such integrals what we do is we just write limit y tends to infinity integral 0 to y e to the power minus st into sin at dt now we can compare with this formula and you can see that our a is minus s and b is small a. So let's apply the formula. So this is equal to limit y tends to infinity e to the power minus st the whole divided by minus s the whole square of course is s square and plus a square now I told you kind of like in a diagonal movement so minus s sin 80 minus a cos 80 within the limits 0 to y okay so the first thing to do is we can keep this outside so I'm going to write 1 by s square plus a square limit y tends to infinity now let's plug in the upper limit so I'm going to plug in y instead of t minus s sin a y minus a cos a y minus the lower limit when you plug in e to the power 0 when you plug in 0 we get e to the power 0 which is 1 and then sin 0 which disappears minus cos 0 that will give us 1 so we get something like this and I hope you remember the graph of e to the power x e power 0 is 1 and it shoots to infinity and on this side 
it becomes asymptotic to the x-axis. That means the value will never become 0 but will be very, 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 very near to 0. Or in other words, e to the power minus infinity tends to 0. It will be very, very near to 0. And e to the power 0 is equal to 1. And so this whole part will vanish. And sine infinity and cos infinity. So talking about sine infinity, look at the graph of sine x. It moves from 0 to 1 height wise and then to minus 1 and again to 0 to 1 to minus 1. So it just keeps on oscillating between minus 1 and 1. You keep on increasing x, that doesn't make any difference. It just shoots to 1 and goes down to minus 1. So these quantities are finite. Even if you plug in infinity, it's going to be finite. And 0 multiplied by finite number, the whole thing goes and we get 1 by a square plus a square and then an a. Okay, so that's it. So we get Laplace of sine 80 is equal to a by a square plus a square. Now you can try this by yourself. It will be really good if you try it now itself. Laplace of cos 80. And the answer is, can you guess? The denominator will be same because we are going to use a similar formula and the numerator will be yes. Okay, so that's the next two formulae. So total we have five formulae now. First one Laplace of e power a t and that is 1 by s minus a. And then if it is minus a t it will be 1 by s plus a and Laplace of 1 1 is actually e power 0 into t that gives us 1 by s. Now we derived Laplace of sin 80 and you can try this by yourself. Uh, by the way, I will give you that formula e to the power ax cos bx dx. So this is e to the power ax the whole divided by a square plus b square. Now, I told you kind of like diagonal. So, a cos bx plus b sin bx and plus c. So, that's it. Now, let's try the Laplace of some hyperbolic functions. Uh, so, this is the hyperbolic function shine 80. If you don't want to read like shins 80 or shine 80, you can simply say sine hyperbolic 80. But you can check the dictionary. It's okay to read shine, kosh, tan, shake and kushik. Um, they are even called the drunken functions in mathematics. It's kind of like drinking alcohol and learning trigonometry. Just imagine that if you drink some alcohol and read sine cos tan it becomes like shine cos tan sh and that's actually the right way to pronounce this some people call it sin sex or something like that okay uh, it's up to you if you want to read this as sine hyperbolic 80 or shine 80 okay so basically this reduces to e to the power 80 minus e to the power minus 80 the whole divided by 2. The reason is in your plus 1 plus 2 you might have learned the sine hyperbolic x is e power x minus e to the power minus x by 2. Now look at this Laplace uh, is basically an integral. So let's think about Laplace of k into f of t where k is a constant and f of t is a function. So this is going to be integral 0 to infinity k into f of t multiplied by e to the power minus st dt. 
and we can take this k outside because that's a simple property of integration so this k goes outside and we get f of t into e to the power minus st dt and that is nothing but k times laplace of f of t so this constant i can say 1 by 2 here i can take this 1 by 2 outside the laplace so that is property number one laplace is integration so properties of integration hold now look at this laplace of let's say f of t plus g of t so this will be laplace of so this will be integral of f of t plus g of t basically and it will get split and you will get two integrals so you're going to end up with laplace of f of t plus laplace of g of t so in the next step we are going to get laplace of e to the power a t minus laplace of e to the power minus a t and we already know the formula 1 by 2 1 by s minus a minus 1 by s plus a take LCM and simplify so you get the denominator becomes s square minus a square and the numerator goes s plus a minus of s minus a don't forget the bracket and this gives 2a and a that will be a by s square minus a square similarly if you try to find the laplace of cos a t you will get s by s square minus a square so that's it we have a huge list now the first one we learned is laplace of e to the power a t and that is 1 by s minus a and then laplace of e power minus a t that is 1 by s plus a and then comes laplace of 1 which is equal to 1 by s now laplace of sin a t is equal to a by s square plus a square and then comes laplace of cos a t which you are supposed to derive and that will give us s by s square plus a square and finally laplace of the hyperbolic functions shine a t and that is a by s square minus a square and laplace of cos a t or cos hyperbolic a t s by s square minus a square so we'll stop the video right here and in the next video we'll be back with numericals in laplace transform so till then bye